All right, everybody, this is Ross the Fig Boss. Today we're looking at a couple figs here that are classified as Adriatics. And so in this fall rainy weather that I have, some figs obviously do a lot better than others. And some figs, uh, you know, taste really good, even in this fall rainy and cold weather that we've been having. And one of them I would argue is really the Adriatic figs. Some of them obviously I think perform way better than others. And what we're looking at here in front of us is a fig called prosciutto. And so this has been my favorite Adriatic fig. There's still actually a lot more figs on the tree that need to ripen. They're swelling now. And this thing was loaded. We up potted it because I loved it so much after last season into a 15 gallon size pot. And so this is one of my favorite figs. We planted one in the ground. I got it from my friend Aaron at uh, New Jersey Fig Farm. Shout out to Aaron, he does a nice job. He sells large trees for cheap prices and you can get this from him rather cheaply. Um, in any case, this has been a fig that I've been keeping a close eye on this year because I wasn't sure if it would do well or as well as it did last year and I wasn't sure if it would compete with some of these other Adriatic figs. I wanted to see, oh, maybe it's a fluke. I want to keep an open eye and see what the deal is. So I, I also have, by the way, behind me, a fig I just harvested. This is uh, Verdino del Nord from Tatiana, which is also a Adriatic fig. And so throughout the length of this season, I have been comparing all the uh, Adriatic figs that I have. And an Adriatic, I think the term is used very loosely. It doesn't just mean a fig that's green on the outside and red on the inside. It's a fig that has that strawberry flavor on the inside or raspberry flavor, strong berry flavor that matches, matches green Aishia, matches the white Adriatic fig that was commercially grown in California. Um, it has to match, it has to be similar. If it doesn't, then it's not, a, it's not an Adriatic fig, just pure and simple. I also have this one back here, which is called uh, Rockaway Green. It's said that the Rockaway Green isn't supposed to split. We also have had a lot of Harry's Crete this year, which were very good. And so I would say we got a couple more swelling up there, but they're not ready yet. And I would say that whatever of these Adriatic figs performs the best is going to be the one that I choose inevitably in the end and keep. And so we're trying all these to find the one that is the best, that does perform the best, because the one that performs the best is gonna ripen the highest quality fruit the most consistently. And with these Adriatic figs, prosciutto, Rockaway Green, Adriatic JH, Pataglia Green, Strawberry Verte is another one I'm growing. There's so many of them, prosciutto, you want to just, they all rather taste very similar. And so maybe one tastes better than the others. Like people say white Madeira tastes better than the others. I doubt there's much of a difference. Probably when caprified, it's quite incredible. All of these taste so great, honestly. They're just great tasting figs. And so whichever one though here performs the best is going to give me the best tasting fruit the most consistently. And so for that, I am going to prefer that, that particular variety. And so far, it is actually prosciutto. Um, now, I haven't had enough experience with Rockaway Green, so I'm not gonna write any of these figs off. I actually really like the Verdino del Nord from Tatiana. I think it tastes great. I think it performs rather well. But in this rainier, colder fall weather I've been having, prosciutto has been consistently ripening some figs that are drying on the tree it seems to dry quicker and shrivel quicker and so the hang time may be a little bit shorter and so because of that hang time or whatever it is that allows it actually to ripen quicker even in colder fall weather it does amazing and so i really value this fig in the summer though when i was comparing all of them it wasn't really any better i think than the others it was just really at this time of the year i would say that it is better um, so interesting, a little observation and difference this year. Again, the videos that we did last year on it took place in the fall. But now we have some information from the summer. And again, I don't really think it's all that, it's really all that much different in the summer. It really just comes down to 
now. And so let's do just a little bit of a taste test. I don't think a taste test matters all that much. Again, I think they're all relatively taste the same. Here's the Verdino del Nord. It's very good. Especially for this time of the year, super nice berry flavor. Rockaway Green, you can tell it actually isn't that ripe. It's the one though that said not to split out of all the Adriatic figs. Comes from uh, Rockaway, New York. So that's interesting, if that's true, that would probably mean it's gonna perform better than others. I know prosciutto can split and has split this summer. Even in this lesser ripe state, very good. But here's my beef. Recently, it warmed up a little bit. And so a lot of the figs here in the yard started, started going. Their, um, their hang times got a little bit shorter because the metabolisms of the trees are going. But prosciutto, even in the colder weather, continues to ripen, it seems like, better than all the others. Still very, very good. That is very good, even under ripe. The um, Rockaway Green's fantastic. And so you got to think about also with the Rockaway and even the Verdino del Nord, they don't need to, to basically turn into fig candy or dried fig for me to enjoy them. So I would say the hang time on most of them is rather short. But this one seems to just continue to ripen and even dry on the tree in this terrible weather. I've had about three or four so far this fall that look like this. And so they're, because they get more ripe, more consistently, they just do taste better. So here's the prosciutto. I got some other figs that we ripened this year. Maybe I'll put a video out on that because I did film it of prosciutto that were spectacular. Uh, just truly huge treats to have Now, really not all that different actually in flavor compared to the other two. You can tell it's more ripe and therefore it's better. And so the longer they'll hang on the tree, the, quick, the more they dry on the tree, the better they're gonna be. And so that's, that's my lesson here. That's my beef. I got so many other ones though. I have in the past really respected Strawberry Verte. We have a tree of that. I think Harry's Creep is a slightly larger version of these. The fruits are typically larger and maybe even slightly uh, more acidic. Um, whereas some of these others I would say are, are a bit sweeter and don't have as much acidity. I know there's White Madeira number one, which I'm struggling to get that one established. And um, there's also Blanche de Duce Cezanne, which you can't forget about that one because that one I think is rather unique compared to the others. And there's even a couple more I'm not thinking of right now. Um, maybe they'll come to me here. Where is my Blanche to do Saison? I probably moved it somewhere. Here it is. So this, this fig is yet to ripen. I have one in the container and actually two of them in the ground. And so this will eventually ripen, hopefully by the end of the year. But this is also a very, very good Adriatic. And so that's the goal. We're going to try to find really what some of the... Not many, but that one difference, I think, of prosciutto of performing better in the fall is a pretty nice difference. And so never would have really figured that out if I didn't um, grow all these figs. And there's probably a couple more I'm not... Oh, man, I'm definitely blanking and not remembering one or two of these but i do thank you guys for watching hit that subscribe button check out our blog we got so much more information out on the blog figboss.com we got merch for sale we even have fig trees and cuttings for sale coming up uh, and we'll talk to you guys soon all right take care see you guys for the next